Hi guys, today I'm gonna talk a little bit about the balance between your mind, body, and soul. Uh, I've been away for a little while. We've been to Florida a couple times. I've still been maintaining diet, exercise, meditation. But what I've really come to realize the last few weeks is just how important it is to balance your mind, your body, and your soul. And I think so many people in the fast-paced world we live in only focus on their body um, because it's just you go, 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 and you don't think that much about your mind and your spiritual spirit and your soul. So I just wanted to encourage people to spend more time thinking about their mind and 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 meditation. Uh, it's really, I still am meditating twice a day. Um, I believe it is truly changing my physical body and I know it's changing my, my mental state and my mind and my mindset. So I would just encourage you to um, reach out if you have questions about meditation. You have to just start somewhere and then just be consistent. So, but what I've really been diving into recently is uh, the spirit or the soul because God has just been talking to me in different ways. Um, he's kind of led me down this path. I feel like he, the reason that I did find out I had MS is that it was a wake up call for me. And so I've been going down this path and I'm, I'm doing a study right now that's called the armor of God. And it's just really strange how God works. But the sermon, the last Sunday we were in Florida was on this very topic. And there's a verse in Ephesians six ten that says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. Because I, I, I've been doing a ton of research also on the, the virus and, and what's going on in our political world. And, and it's really the devil at work. So we need to all put on our armor and the armor is the word of God. And so I would just encourage people to, to start, you know, reading the Bible. Um, it, it's... It's not an easy thing to do, but if you just pick up some devotionals or, or attend a church, um, God will start leading you down the right path. So hope this helps. Reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.